Lawmakers of the 17th Congress refiled bills that failed to pass under the Aquino administration. Grace Cassin tells us why. There are many amongst us who advance the assessment that the problems that bedevil our country today, which need to be addressed with urgency, are corruption, both in the high and low echelons of government, criminality in the streets, and the rampant sale of illegal drugs in all strata of Philippine society, and the breakdown of law and order. These are the problems that President Rodrigo Duterte wants to solve immediately. Yesterday, when 17th Congress opened, bills that address corruption, criminality, and social protection were filed. The Freedom of Information Bill, which aims to open all government transactions to eliminate corruption in the government, has already been filed in both houses of Congress. Ifugao Representative Teddy Baguilat filed his FOI version in the lower house. The FOI bill did not even reach the plenary of the lower house. In Senate, Senator Grace Poe filed her version of FOI as her first bill in the 17th Congress. Poe says this bill will be the weapon of every Filipino to scrutinize every document of the government. Meanwhile, the bill to revive death penalty have been filed by Muntinlupa Representative Rufi Biazon in the lower house. It focuses on drug-related cases only. Yes, that's my bill number one for drug traffickers. Yeah. But incoming House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez says his version of reviving death penalty will include rape, murder, and others. Go ahead, sir. Indigenous crimes, di ba, yung mga karumal-dumal, di ba? Palaging kinagamit yun yan, di ba, yung mga karumal-dumal. Sabihin, yung, yung martyr na diyan, yung ordinary martyr. In Senate, Senators Tito Soto and Panfilo Lacson also filed their versions of death penalty. On the other hand, SSS pensioners have now a chance to receive the proposed increase in their pension as a bill to materialize this proposal have been refiled in the lower house. Bayan Muna Partilis Representative Carlos Zarate is hoping that the proposed increase will be enacted into law before the year ends, especially since President Duterte earlier expressed his support for this bill. Among those bills filed in the House of Representatives are Faster Internet Bill, Tax Bracket Reform Bill, Whistleblower Act, Anti-Discrimination Bill, and Anti-Premature Campaigning. After the first State of the Nation address of President Duterte on July 27, that's the time Congress can deliberate on the bills filed. But Congress will give priority to the proposed national budget once DBM submits it. Grace Gasson reporting for Y News.